Maharaj, he spoke so wonderfully. He explained this third verse of uh, Shrimad Bhagavatam, Nigama Kalpataror Galitam Phalam Shukamakat Amrita Dravasamitam Vipata Bhagavata Rasamalaya Muhurahu Rasiko Bhuvi Bhavakaha. He said that um, Bhagavatam is Nigama Kalpataror Galitam Phalam. It is the ripened fruit of the tree of Vedic knowledge. So the whole Veda is like a tree. And the purpose of a tree is to give the fruit. We are meant to eat the fruit because the tree may be there, but the purpose of a tree is to present the fruit and we should eat the fruit. We should not eat the tree. We should not eat the trunks or the branches or the leaves. If you try to eat the uh, branches, uh, then what you will get? You will only get a toothache. Uh, we won't get sweet. If we want to take the sweetness, then we should take shelter of the fruit. The fruit will be sweet. If you are going to take the leaves, then leaves will be bitter. So if you want sweetness to be tasted, then we should go for the fruit of the tree. So similarly, whole Veda is like a tree and then Bhagavatam is that ripened fruit. Shukamukat Amrita Drave Samitam. But this Bhagavatam is presented in a very nectarian format and Vedavyas is saying that Pibata Bhagavata Rasamalayam, you drink this Bhagavatam. Maharaja is saying that how in the first line he is saying that Nigama Kalpataror Kalitam Phalam, it's a fruit. But uh, in the third line Vedavyas is writing that uh, Pibata Bhagavata Rasamalayam, you eat, you drink the rasam. How it is that now he is saying drink and in the first way, it is a fruit. Fruit we don't drink. Fruit we chew and eat. But uh, the juice we drink. So Maharaj, he so nicely said, I think he is also referring to some Shastra. He said that Bhagavatam is a relishable juice. A fruit generally has a skin and also a seed in it. Generally, when we eat a fruit, we have to peel the skin and uh, throw away the seed and eat the fruit. But when we drink something, we don't throw away anything. We will fully take everything. There is nothing to throw. Because whatever we drink, drink is just drinking, just fully drinking, nothing to leave. But when we take a fruit, we have to peel the skin, remove the seed. Bhagavatam doesn't have anything like that, that we have to peel it out and then throw it out. Fully we can take it. So it's like a juice, it should be fully taken. In fact, in the spiritual world, it is said in the Shastra that mangoes, sweet mangoes, they don't have a skin and then they don't have a seed also. And there are no bad portions also. This is material world. We have a skin, then we have some seed also. In fact, major portion nowadays we see, I saw a very big mango in Bangalore. Almost 70% is the seed only. Only little portion we get that sweet. But Bhagavatam is not a, such a thing. Its whole is full of sweet. So this is Srimad Bhagavatam. So it's such a wonderful literature. Actually, devotees should taste this literature. Bhag Veda Vyasa is saying, Tibata Bhagavad Rasamalayam. Just taste, dress, drink, you know. Why are you not drinking? 